my die for medication. Chloe seems more relaxed now that she has that money from the handicapped fund. I love this morning light. It's so peaceful. Wouldn't it be wicked if we could just hang out here forever like when we were kids? Yes, but sadly, we're not kids anymore. At least you can date now, right? My dad was terrified of the day I would discover boys. So, you never really told me if you had a serious boyfriend while I was away. Not serious. Hella stupid, usually. I went through a boy toy phase, among other things. I can't see you with any of the guys around here. Because you have a good eye. That's why I was so glad Rachel came along to rescue me. Sounds like you totally crushed on Rachel. You would have too. Smart, sexy, and sassy. Like me, right? Well, duh. <laughs> maybe Rachel would have fought over both of us. You wish. Then again, maybe. You're a photographer and she wanted to be a model. Okay, time for some Chloe cosplay. Hey, there you go. Rachel left a bunch of her clothes with me. She's your size. But not quite my style. Max, you don't have a style yet. At least give it a try. You can always rewind back to your chlorine brand t-shirt and generic jeans. You suck. I like my shirt and jeans. But it would be cool to try on Rachel's clothes just to see if they fit. Stop second guessing yourself, Max. Put this on and let your inner punk rock girl come out. You can afford to take chances whenever and whatever you want to try. For example, I dare you to kiss me. What? I double dare you. Kiss me now. Damn, you're hardcore, Max. Now I can text Warren and tell him he doesn't stand a chance, unless he's into girl and girl action. You're such a dork. Oh man, that was priceless when I kissed Chloe. She didn't think I would. You better not rewind and take that kiss back. You know I'm hotter than those Seattle art holes, right? I think Rachel's style is a little more subtle. Like me. Looking sick, Max. A couple tats, some piercings, and we'll make a thrasher out of you yet. Ready for the mosh pit, Shaka Bra? Maybe not. Go on down and say hi to Joyce. Free breakfast? I have to, uh, wake and bake first. I promise not to tell. Let's not rewind and find out, okay? Check you out, Max. Ready for the runway. Go downstairs and show Joyce. She'll love it. Oh my god, that smells so amazing. It's like when we were kids here. Chloe has had this damn dirty pirate towel since we were kids. <laughs> Serious flashback. No way. That's the bluebird I saved Monday in Joyce's room. Chloe never used to care when I borrowed her toothbrush. What's ironic is I always hated it when Chloe used my toothbrush. You know, I haven't gone through a dyeing my hair blue phase yet. Maybe it's time. Feels so good to wash my face after all that chlorine. And hiding.
Check out Mad Max. <laughs> Ready to fucking thrash. I'm so hardcore. I better not go in there. David might be in bed. Ew. This might be the one time these people are right. Joyce looks so different in her street clothes. Good morning, Joyce. Rachel, uh, uh, I mean, Max. Oh, you startled me. Well, you fit those clothes well. Thank God you're not a hellraiser like her or Chloe. Now tell me exactly what you want to chow on. Eggs and bacon all the way. Remember when you guys would sleep in until I yelled out, wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Totally. We'd wake up so fast. So this time you can help me with the ingredients. I need you to grab me the actual eggs and the bacon. I can handle eggs and bacon. I love that they still have the same refrigerator. I should evolve and become a vegan, but oh, bacon. Come on, Max. Find those ingredients so we can chow down. Wowza. Chloe still eats the same cereal. So do I. Joyce looks so different in her street clothes. I love that they still have the same refrigerator. The eggs always come first, as Joyce used to say. Thanks. After all these years and everything that's happened, it's great to see you and Chloe together again. She hasn't had a good friend since you or Rachel. Oh, those clothes remind me so much of her. Such a sweet girl. I'm just hoping she's living large in LA. I'd love to think that too, Joyce. But we are on the same page, Max. I keep hoping that Rachel will show up or even send a message to Chloe from Hollywood. Or wherever she is. Be honest, Joyce. Do you think Rachel is okay? Oh God, I hope so. She was, is smart. She always landed on her feet. Maybe I don't know her as well as I thought. Maybe Chloe doesn't either. Sometimes I feel like I don't know Chloe as well as I thought. <laughs> Max Caulfield, are you actually jealous of Rachel? Maybe. Rachel was so much cooler than me. <laughs> you think? Then why has Chloe been telling me she wishes she could be more like you over the past five years? Doubt it. Um, did she really? Five years ago feels like a thousand now. And that makes me what, a century old? <laughs> You're only 18, Max. Oh, youth. If only I could go back. It's not all that, Joyce. Voila, a breakfast fit for us queens. And a king. <laughs> go sit at the table. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
I guess nobody waters the plant here. I'm glad that's creamy and not crunchy. Kate's life was sure worth a nice exploitive headline. Thank you so much, Joyce. I'm never leaving this table. Good, you can clean. Bring those eggs and bacon to my belly. Bring those eggs and bacon to my belly. Seeing you again, ah, oh, made me remember so much. I know these photos don't measure up to your work, Max. My favorite photographers probably take pictures similar to yours. You make David happy, Joyce. He wants us all to be happy, Max. He's just not great at showing it. Uh, I don't think I can rock this outfit like Rachel. You have your own cool style. Wow, sir. I totally remember that day. I'm glad. William took this picture with his instant camera. <laughs> oh, it was the last picture he ever took. He had his car out right after this, and... and... I know, Joyce. I'm sorry. I didn't show you this to be morbid. In fact, I want you to have this. This was when my baby was so full of life and light. She was hopeful, positive, and everything she's not today. And this was the last time I ever saw Chloe truly happy. Did you guys have a bonding session about how fucked up I am? It's not always about you. Chloe, please, it's too early to start picking a fight. Eat instead. I'll keep the warden busy while you go peek in the garage. Now stop whispering or I'll know you're talking about me. Stop being so nosy, mother. Jeez, I can't do anything around here without everybody getting up in my shit. Uh, no one can even joke with you, Chloe. You fly off the handle like that. Excuse me, I have to use the bathroom. Sure, run off and pee when you should back me up. Now who's being paranoid? Just listen to yourself. Nobody else does. I do need to get into David's computer. He's gotta be hiding shit. I bet David has all of his surveillance secrets in his laptop. No shit it needs a password. How about step douche? Try again. I need more clues. Nothing to see here. Maybe I could try stepdad for the password. Nope. Nothing in it. Naturally, David would buy a heavy-duty military padlock. I can even see the combination. That might be a useful password. <sighs> Try again. No way, Max. You totally froze the laptop. 